Hey everybody, Derek with The Ultimate Hang, and yes, we are back at it. We're gonna do a quick look at um, the one tigress. So what I've got today is the One Tigress hammock. This is kind of a, a hybrid convertible type hammock and then also the underquilt. Now I'm gonna show the underquilt really quick first because it's pretty basic. So this one is their synthetic fill. And really this is a, um, I'm just gonna say it, it's a knockoff of the Eno um, underquilt that came out many, many years ago. And there's been a couple of people who have copied this design so it's it's kind of a a wedge that you know it, it's sewn to complement this the shape of a hammock so we will put that on in just a second but right now I'm going to set up the one tigress hammock and show you a couple of quick details and just you know give my my opinion I've had it for a couple of weeks now and I'm real excited about where this is going because I think there's some elements on here that really can change the way that we think about these modular hammocks. So let me put this up and we'll take a look at it. I just set this hammock up with some simple Beckett, hit Beckett hitches on either side but the hammock does come with some daisy chain straps. The daisy chain straps are really interesting because there's only a couple of uh, loops actually on one end and I found it really not usable. It's not like your typical daisy chain straps that have like eight to 10 loops on one end and then maybe a short side two to three feet that goes around the tree. Uh, this is almost opposite. It's like eight feet or seven, eight feet of, of just strap with a one loop on one side and then maybe three or two or three on the other. It's really interesting. Uh, so yeah, I didn't find it very useful. So the straps are kind of a weird you could use them to, to you know tie a Beckett hitch but that's about it um, carabiners work really well they, they come with it uh, and then it just has end loops so what I've got here is not what comes stock with the hammock but just what I've set up just simple Beckett hitches and uh, let me go give you a close-up look at this one tigress now right off the bat in terms of size this is very proportional to a Hennessy hammock like the Expedition or Explorer it's not a very big hammock in terms of length and width so if you're familiar with the Hennessy those are going to be your your generic kind of dimensions it has a ridge line and the ridge line is adjustable although there's not a lot of adjustment that you need to make on it I actually tightened mine a little bit so you can see here on the end there is an adjustment strap or a line lock where you can adjust the ridge line but there's really not much else you can do there the the bug net does not completely remove so you can't there's not not really an advantage in my opinion of the adjustment here except in my case I felt like the uh, the ridge line needed to be tightened just a little bit because it was really tight across when I got it out of the bag uh, the bug net was really tight so I wanted to uh, loosen that a little bit so there wasn't as much tension on the bug net so a uh, neat feature but not altogether useful on this particular hammock the overall build uh, is actually really good I know this is a uh, an overseas made uh, China I believe is the uh, manufacturing country or country of manufacture but the build is actually really good you'll see there's reinforcements all along the different stress points it's got high quality zippers, no seam bug netting. I mean, even the zipper pulls are kind of my favorite. Let's see, hopefully this is it's gonna stay focused here. So the kind of lightweight zipper pulls that make it handy. But the really cool feature is inside 
You're gonna get a glimpse of that in a second. So I'm gonna go put, set up the tripod a little bit closer and uh, we're gonna show you the modular elements of this hammock in just a second. Uh, along the ridge line, actually this is a really cool feature that I like. Do you see these clips here? These have a cinch buckle, so or a, a kind of a cinch mechanism. You can squeeze them and, and move them back and forth along the ridge line, and then they hold in place. And then they have a hook, so you can hook on, well, all kinds of things, right? Ridge line organizers, uh, flashlights, what have you. The stuff sack that comes with this hammock is pretty cool. The way they've designed it is the, the stuff sack is not attached to the hammock. It comes off and it has loops already sewn in the ends and they can clip on here and then you can you know move that so the the stuff sack doubles as a ridgeline organizer it's a brilliant feature my only drawback on that ridgeline organizer is as an organizer it's it's pretty good good size it has extra pockets and of course the zipper so it has really good uh, secure storage actually it's just a tad small just a little bit on the small side to to fit the hammock comfortably from from my perspective if it was just uh, maybe an inch or two wider or longer it would make the hammock less snug to pack but other than that i love that idea cool ridgeline organizer stuff sack all right so here's the the one tigress modular hammock um one thing i wanted to show real quick first is uh there are some side tie outs with line locks right here at the uh, mid midpoint i've got one of them tied off here so you know you can open it up which is really nice but the, the feature I really want to show you is right up here. Now this is the modular section. It creates kind of like a membrane between the, the bug net and the hammock itself. So imagine this, it's got a second set of zippers and I've got a, it's got a fun stow, uh, stow sack right up here that you can use or you can use it for organization. And then uh, you can zip this membrane and create this enclosure. Now, what I what I like about this, maybe even more than you know your modular hammock covers where you remove the bug net and replace it, right? Is uh, this membrane is a little closer to the body, so you you're able to trap. You know, there's less volume to to warm, almost like a bivy sack, right? You've almost got this bivy sack, and you can zip it up, almost like. Um, a sleeping bag you know right over you so in some cases depending on your temperature or, or weather you may not even need a top cover necessarily but there's enough room on top that you're not going to get um, too clammy but let me show you I'm going to get inside here and zip myself in now again as I mentioned at the first part of the video the dimensions are very similar to Hennessy so you can see just sitting up. All right, I'm gonna sit up normal. The ridge line is right behind the nap of my neck, so it's a bit in the way. But, you know, for a small hammock, there's kind of some compromises there. Ah. All right, so I'm gonna get diagonal, zip up this membrane. So, like I said, it kind of cross-sections the hammock, and then you've got these tie-outs. Now, it comes with some elastic, and you can cut and uh, tie it off however you want to, and I've, I've clipped it onto some of these ridgeline organizer clips, right? So you can, along the way, create your own set of adjustments here, move them around so you can either have a high or a low, but I actually think it's pretty cool for a modular system. And uh, at the top, there's a little bit of a, some extra fabric here that you can use to kind of you know, tuck in and seal yourself in. I like the idea. I think this idea is really cool. My challenge with it is that I think this membrane needs to be just a little bit wider, even for this hammock. It's a small hammock. Um, and honestly, I, I, it makes me think that they probably designed this for people to lay in line, which, as you know, is not the most comfortable way to lay in a hammock. Because when you lay diagonally in this hammock, it tends to uh, 
push that membrane out. You can see my, I don't know if you can see my foot end there, but um, it's, it's fairly constrained. I can lay fairly flat in here, but it's not the most comfortable lay. <laughs> Sorry about that if you heard that motorcycle. Not the most comfortable lay because of how it's constrained. Um, but I like where it's going. I think there is an opportunity here with some minor tweaks. This is actually a pretty cool idea. So there you go. This is uh, again the one Tigris. It's this modular hammock, and as I said, it's it is fairly small. Uh, I'm not going to lie. So don't expect to be oud and odd because this is not going to compare to like any of your big hammocks today, like your 10 foot, even 11 foot hammocks. So if you have any questions for me, write it in the comments, uh, send me an email. But again, my, my feedback back to One Tigris as a team is the concept is really cool. There's a lot going for it. Um, it's just a bit constrained. I'd like to see the dimensions opened up a little bit more, especially this membrane. Super cool idea. Just wish it was a little wider. Wish the hammock were just a little bit longer. And other than that, all these little uh, accessories and ideas are pretty cool. So check it out, theultimatehang.com. See you later.